We welcome the high interest of the United States in the Black Sea and look forward to our strategy, that to, to our partner's strategy in the area, as Romania has already sent its contribution in this regard. We welcome the broad anticipated focus of the approach encompassing security in all its formats. Additionally, we will work within the European Union on coordinating a strategy to support democratic initiatives and economic prosperity in the region, which includes European Union members, but also European Union aspirant nations. Today, uh, first of all, I, I, I thank you, Bogdan, for supporting this initiative to call together this forum and give a closer look at the present and future of the Black Sea region. The International Crimea Platform has proven to be an effective mechanism. It has brought together peace-loving nations which oppose aggression and occupation. We are united by UN Charter principles and the shared conviction that Crimea is Ukraine and it will return under Ukraine's control. Last year, on February 24th, the international democratic community witnessed the true intentions of Russia, which decided to start a full-scale invasion of a sovereign, independent nation. They believe that Ukraine is not a state, that it is a place without a, a nation, but that was a terrible mistake. It and the war spreads its influence far beyond the borders of actual hostilities. Violation by the aggressor of all existing principles of international law and order requires that we reconsider the critical aspects of regional security. This is in the best interest of every country in the region. We cannot rely on the practice we used until recently they were. Ukraine is open to this conversation, but unity of efforts of the free world we will ensure the return of the world of the rule of law, not the rule of force, and will make the Black Sea a space of peace. Thank <laughs> you.